Hello students, today we are going to discuss your worksheet number 40 for the date 5th October for the lesson carbonates compound. In this lesson as we have discussed about the functional group it is continuation with this in the last worksheet we have checked what are functional groups actually these are the heteroatoms which replacing the hydrogen atom from the series. Now let's see what is there in this worksheet. Carbon forms bonds with the other elements such as halogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. In a hydrocarbon chain, one or more hydrocarbon can be replaced by these elements and such that they, the valency of the carbons remains satisfied. In such compounds, the element replacing hydrogen is referred to as heteroatom. So the element which is replacing the hydrogen in the chain. Suppose if we take the example of a simple carbon chain and at every place hydrogen is binded so if one of this hydrogen is replaced by any of these atoms either chlorine bromine or any of the oxygen containing functional group then this will be referred to as heteroatom so heteroatoms are also present in some groups these heteroatoms and the groups containing these confirm them the specific properties to the compound regardless of the length and nature of the carbon chain and hence called functional group because of the addition of this heteroatom, if the chloro, chlorine or bromine is added to this chain by replacing this hydrogen, this chain which was earlier named as the chain belonging to alkane series, now it will be belonging to the halo series. Likewise, if this oxygen is added on the basis of the functional group, it will be renamed and such chains are known as functional group as you can see. If chlorine or bromine is there, it is belonging to the functional group known as halo group. So, substitution of hydrogen atom. If oxygen functional group name alcohol, it will be having the OH addition. If oxygen containing aldehyde group, then the addition of CHO group will be there. If oxygen containing ketone group, then the addition of carbon along with the double bond of oxygen. If the oxygen containing carboxylic acid, then the double bond with oxygen and OH group. Likewise, if double and triple bond is there, then as you have read about the alkene and alkyne series. So let's see. Next is what? Identifying the functional group. When we identify a functional group, what, what we see? We have to see the heteroatom which has been added. If the heteroatom is chlorine and bromine, then it belongs to the halo functional group. If the heteroatoms are O and H, likewise this one then the functional group will be alcohol if the heteroatoms are carbon oxygen and hydrogen okay then the functional group will be aldehyde if the heteroatoms are in between carbon along with the double bond so actually this double bond should be here it is given wrong so it will be ketone remember ketone is in between the alkyl groups then if the carboxylic acid is the functional group then the C double bond O and OH double and triple bond you can see between the two carbons it is shown so on the basis of this we can easily identify the functional group if we identify the heteroatom let's see what is there in the question answers this is the structure in which three carbon atoms are there but the in between carbon atom is having double bond with oxygen we can see double bond with oxygen is shown in the ketone group so the functional group will be ketone name I have written Maybe the, in the next worksheet you will be learning this. So the name will be propanone. On will be its suffix. Then next is OH is the heteroatom. Then the alcohol will be the functional group. Here C double bond O and H. So CHO is the heteroatom oxygen aldehyde. CH3, C double OH, carboxylic acid and bromine and chlorine. So it will be halo group. In pink color you can see the IUPAC names of this naming of carbon compounds propanone, propanol, ethanol, ethanoic acid, bromoethane and chloroethane. So all are generally four of them are the two carbon compounds and two of them are the three carbon compounds but you can see the suffix and in case of halo group we are prefixing. So this you will learn in the next worksheet. Thanks for watching.